Athletics now heads to the largest city in Spain, Madrid, in the 47th edition of the San Silvestri Balancana 10K Road Race. The race is essentially a challenge of the course from the home of the Real Madrid ball team, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, to the Rivero Stadium, home of the Real Madrid football squad. The Silvestri is the largest of the New Year's Day races worldwide and has itself spawned numerous other New Year's Eve races. This year, the group Sons of Rock energizes the starting line crowds with a frenzy of pumped up music, creating one of the most electrified starting scenes in the world of road racing. The race of the two stadiums is run entirely on the streets of Spain's capital city and will be the focus of more than 38,000 who will travel the 10 kilometer course. The race is made up of two competitions, an open amateur event that starts at 5.30 and attracts huge crowds to party with bands and Spanish celebrities at the start line. While the international version of the race starts at 8 p.m. a few hours after the mass start and features some of the top current road runners of the moment. Although considered somewhat of a downhill course, the route has a few notable climbs in the last two kilometers and a number of sharp turns at the end. The race usually favors strong cross-country runners over pros with glorious track resumes. In the women's race, England's Susan Partridge and two Ethiopians had established an early lead over Marta Dominguez, the blonde 36-year-old three-time race champion. Dominguez is also the former steeplechase world champion and crowd favorite, but she would find herself being paced under considerable pressure in the guise of double Olympic 5 and 10,000 meter champion Turanish Debaba. The men's lead race pack featured a closely held group of eight runners. However, the enthusiastic Spanish crowds were focused on the side of Ayad Lamasin, the former Moroccan, now Spaniard. Ayad migrated to Spain in 2001 and has gained a silver medal in the European Championships. Another high potential was the 19-year-old Ethiopian Gebruat Hagos. Gebruat is considered the new kid on the block as he only arrived in Madrid three days before the race and is now based there and being coached by the famed Spanish distance coach Geronimo Bravo. With the men reaching the 5K or halfway point in a reasonable time of 13 minutes and 44 seconds, strategy seemed to call for a surge from the daring. The injector was 22-year-old Eritrean Teklamarium Medin. Medin, while only 22 years old, is already an Olympic finalist and world cross-country silver medalist. Most experts considered him the favorite, however that prediction was subject to verification. As Medin in black and Hagos in blue sped away to chase gold and silver, the Spaniard, Ayad, was just off the lead duo, not yet content to settle for the third place prize. As the two East Africans seemed to speed away, the Spaniard somehow climbed back into contention just before the entrance of the Riso Stadium. Now a three-man race again, the Spaniard was poised to become the first Spanish winner since 2003. But Hagos and Medin brought a different gear from the East African mountains tonight. As the two raced away again with gold and silver to be decided, it was an expert's guess if the young 19-year-old Eritrean could take his first major victory from the 22-year-old Ethiopian Medin. Medin is the only Olympian among the two and has run a 27.46 10,000 meters on the track, so he has excellent speed and strength. Medin found himself sprinting too fast out of the tunnel to make the turn and continue on the track in the crucial final meters of the race. This huge tactical error cost him an extra 10 meters in his sprint phase and he found himself playing catch up to the 17-year-old Gabriel. In the final stretch, it was anyone's guess as to who would win was now a 70-meter sprint competition around the bends of the stadium. Medin, perhaps sprinting too soon, can't keep the E opening to the rear and is nipped at the line in a thrilling finish. On the women's side, the runner to emerge from the tunnel was not the race favorite Dubaba or Dominguez, but Galecte Berka. Berka was being trailed by the indomitable Olympic champion and 5,000 meter world record holder Dubaba, who was known for a fierce finishing kick, which was again to be her weapon of victory as she nipped Berka at the finishing line. 
Dubaba crosses the finish line first in a winning time of 31 minutes and 30 seconds. With the 36-year-old Marty Dominguez hanging in for fourth place. <laughs> 